Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm going to do a small tutorial on how I create my own ergonomic hooks. So while I do own some furls, I do own some uh, hooks from Hobby Lobby that are more ergonomic. Um, sometimes with my hand I do get a lot of cramping and I need to change what I am doing. I love the clover hooks and I am faithful to those. However, even with those, sometimes I do have issues. Just depends on the day, depends on my hand, uh, depends on what I'm crocheting. So uh, I, I do a simple thing. Uh, you can pick this up. You can actually pick this up at Walmart or any drugstore. It's essentially to wrap a wound or sometimes you will see medical professionals wrapping a bandage when they dry your blood or um, things like that. It's essentially a self-adhesive bandage and they come in multiple colors. I picked mine up at the local runnings that we have here, uh, but you could look at a tractor supply or, and like I said, any medical medical supply store would have these. They would just probably wouldn't be as colorful. I'm not sure why they're so colorful, um, at the tractor supply store, I'm sure there is a reason for it. However, I do not know the reason. So I just picked up a bunch of different colors because why not? I like colors. <laughs> um, so what I do with my clover hooks, because I always use them, um, and I know how it works for me for them. So I take a little bit of this off and then I take my scissor and I just cut Okay, so then I fold this over and I add this. I like to hold my hook, my clover hooks. I like to feel the actual clover hook. So I used to wrap it all the way up here. I changed that because I don't, I like the grip of the clover hook. So I keep it that way. And I started wrapping down here. It also, if you leave this open, then you can see what color it is and then you'll remember what hook it was. So I know this green is my eye hook. So I just wrap this around here to get this part a little bit bigger and you can stretch it, do whatever. I'm going to go over this so it doesn't necessarily matter. And as you press on it, it, it uh, adheres to itself. So you see that gives a little more bulk there and it just depends on what kind you need. Personally, for me, ideally, is where I can hold the crochet hook here and then have sort of a ball shape in my palm. That helps me the most. So once I get this affixed to the middle of the hook, then I go ahead and I pull a another section off of the bandage. And I just wrap this a bit. So I'll, I'll start a little below where my thumb goes and I just wrap it a bit. If I need more in the middle section, I will add more. And like I said, it just depends on the day. It, you know, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. So you can wrap this as many times as you want. I think one package of this is about a buck 59 where I purchased it. Uh, you can get it at the dollar store as well, Dollar Tree. So I just wrap it a bit and then after I get a section, I just cut it off. And it doesn't matter where you cut it off because it will ad adhere to itself. I know that's not gorgeous. I know this, but I don't care. <laughs> when I want to crochet and my hand hurts, I will achieve it even if it's not gorgeous. Obviously, I could take more time, make this more beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this as is. So as you can see, my thumb can still rest here on my clover part. And then inside my hand, it's more filled with a hook. So the more, the more I have a skinny hook, then I get cramping in my hand. So I want to avoid hooks like this. And I need the more substantial part of the hook in my hand like this. Some days I will make this center even larger, uh, more of a ball in my hand, just depends on the day. So if I was to wrap this one, since it doesn't have, have the clover grip already, 
I would just hold it wherever I would feel like this is where I would want to do. This is where I would want my hand. So I would just figure, okay, here, and then I would start wrapping down here. It just depends on where you want to hold your hook. Some people like the long part here and then hold down here. It just depends on your preference. You, you do whatever works for you. But this is a very easy fix instead of spending 30 to 60, you know, to up, up however high they go, crochet hooks, just because they're ergonomic. So often in my videos, you will see me using some sort of clover hook wrapped in some sort of colorful substance. <laughs> Typically, I will explain. If I do not, then you know that I am... I am just going with what I need for that day. These will get a little soft and less grippy. That is why I started wrapping further down on my clovers because I, I love the grip. I need the grip. Um, and once this gets worn um, and handled so much, it gets softer and smoother and less grippy. So I just started wrapping lower and uh, that works best for me. You do what works best for you, but give it a try. I mean, if you're having problems with your hands, if you're having issues with cramping or, you know, what what have you with with your hooks and you want to crochet more and this is a problem for you, give it a try and see if it works. I mean, you're only out like a dollar if you go to Dollar Tree or if you go to uh, another store, you're still only out a couple of bucks to find out if this would work. Also, if they get dirty, you can just toss this and rewrap it. I mean, it's it's a very inexpensive fix to a problem that I do believe many of us have when we crochet. So that is what my video was about today. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate each and every one of you that watch, comment, and subscribe. So until next time, guys, bye.